Hello and welcome everybody, I have you 99 here and wow look at all of this. This looks this looks pretty fancy. Yeah. Well this is just something I wanna show you guys. Quick show off video of what I built isn't legit, but all the nine pages is legit, but I just spawn it in. That's why I have so much stuff. I've got fortune and this destruction catalyst which is like expensive to craft it legit. I've uh, got quite a lot of rubber from this extractor, extracting all the rubber wood from my rubber farm. I'm coming out of this now, and oh, I haven't got space. I need these. And we leave one. So, copper should need to go in here. And magnesium's going in here. Okay. And these are logistics pipes. Uh, it's an add-on to Buildcraft. I've just added it into the Direwolf 20 pack, which you can add mods in, and uh, it runs nicely. But if you first add it in, it'll crash, so I'll show you how to do that later. But this is my house. The floor is made out of basalt. It's quite nice. Quite a nice blend. Uh, I've got a bunch of back down in my basement at the moment, because I haven't really set up anywhere. But I want to show you something really cool. These are Buildcraft automatic crafting tables. And these are special type of logistics pipes. And um, in each one of these, you need a wrench. And I've got this pipe here just sticking out the wall. I'm just thinking, what? I can see every item I have. So I have 1,000 copper, exactly. 1,000 rubber. And I've got some. So if I say, oh, damn it. I can't look for all these chests, I don't know where anything is, I'm just going to right click on here with my wrench, say, oh, I need 12 copper cable, now I don't have any copper cable in the chest, but if, if downstairs, oh, downstairs, that is set up to make copper cable, so it'll take 6 rubber and 3 copper, It will make me some copper cables. Request 12 copper cables. Copper cables will be spat out. And there we go. I have 12 copper cables that I can just run my wiring along now. So, especially things with circuits that you don't really want to. You don't want to um, waste stuff. Did I empty out my miners bag? No, nope, not all of it. Right. Here we go. And I want to show you my rubber tree farm. This is a uh, meadows, I think. No, savannah. And over here, I have rubber tree farm getting power from all of these gonna need some more of these soon so let's just get some cells right and we also need another Which is basically saying, you take my humus, humus, and get some saplings. I don't have any saplings. Two, three, and four. That will then dump into the end of the chest, and then. Do the and into rubber. Over here I've just got a peak bog. Might want another cell here. So as I said it's not legit but it's sort of my test world. Because I wanted to have a go at starting with um, industrial craft and Oh, yeah. 
Uh, that's the logistics pipes tutorial. Um, you can just add it into pack. It's currently version 1.4.7. The original one was made by Craft, and then it was uh, redone up with some some guy. I can't remember. Oh, that rubber. It's a lot, isn't it? I'm <laughs> trying to go and do my auto crafting table, and she's like, nope. These, the, I couldn't get it working first because I watched uh, an old t series before they added logistics power. Uh, and you needed the logistics power junction, just connect it up to a logistics power pipe. Uh, the just a uh, basic logistics pipe, and put, and you can see one Minecraft joy equals five logistics points. And one EU, which is the industrial craft power, because I've got a HV solar array on top of him. And uh, yeah, I haven't got a lot done, but mining is so fun with a destruction catalyst. Uh, and also, some people have been asking me, oh, especially one person, you don't start a new world on a new let's play well that's how i'm gonna do it uh it's, i'm doing it different because remember i lost the footage i wanted to start a new series too so i i've got got rid of that world i've nuked it well not yet i haven't anyway and uh, well anyway and that's just a start and our extractor is working at its best keep up with everything with the six overclocker upgrades in got an mfe here doing well with some mv solar arrays got an lv transformer we've got three macerators two induction furnaces and an extractor um i've been using this destruction catalyst and look how well you can mine with it it has a three by three by three if i just come down here should be in mine pretty damn close. Here we go. All you do is you have gunpowder. Keep, uh, keep digging. Put some tin here. But that is not what I wanted to do this video about. I wanted to show you a quick mod spotlight on Zycraft. Zycraft is currently released for 147. I haven't checked for one point in um, maybe a week. Um, but uh, yeah, so to get started with Zycraft, you want to start with World Gen. So if we just type in Zy, X Y, you'll see the different World Gen. So you've got blue Zycorium ore, green, red, dark, and light. I've got some in here. So we've got just nice lot of few of the colors <coughs> and what you do is you smelt it to zycoridite you can see you're getting zycoridite from this and that will go through my ender chest here when it uh, reaches Take its time going down. Some of it should appear, but I'll just uh, <coughs> go on. That can just go in my <coughs> chest, I think. <coughs> that looks good. I'll be back when uh, I'm ready to uh, continue. Look at my logistics pipes go, eh? Look how quick it does. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. So I've got a few things smelted now. As you can see, it will just grab a handful. And I'll grab some of the dark and some of the light. There we go. <coughs> So you've got a nice variety of colours. And you can make all of these things like brick. Which is just some bricks. So if we just make some UU. Get some 
and you you matter. You you matter, and it's something like that. And we just get some stone bricks. We can just make whatever color. It's like corium. You want and bricks that is, and they look really good. Um, they look really, really good. <coughs> um, best thing about them, mobs don't spawn on them. So yeah. So this is just the dark. It's very hard to see red, and all of these. If we just take these outside, they do not get night a uh, light, but they glow. Is what I mean. So if we just make it. Midnight. You see, they don't emit light, but they do glow, and they look really nice. Just look at that. Why would you not want that as a floor? Look at them. Look at them glow. Mobs can't spawn on these. You can spawn them on it. But you can't spawn them on these. There's another thing that I want to show you about. It's a uh, Zycorium. Uh, where is it? What I love about um, these as well. These cool lamps. Look, look at that. Cool little lamps. Look, I like the yellow ones. It's just quite cheap to make as well. Look how cool they look. And they light up pretty nicely. Um, what I want is to get some glass viewers. Now, I've used these before in a Series 1 Let's Play series. Uh, they should be here somewhere. Go glass viewer. It's just ironing it around with some glass. And now we want a valve. Valve. A Zycroft valve uh, that will need some engineering brick. Engineering brick is just the same as before, but with a piece of redstone. So we want one of these. You get about three of them, I think. Four. Uh, also, what I love about Zycroft, you can build a, a tank of any material you want. So. I'm going to build this out of blue Zycorium. Three by three. So, you need space in the middle. So, this is the smallest tank you can build. Now, the the outside edge has to be a block. You can't have glass. But, uh. And you can break them when you get them back, so it's better than Minecraft glass. And that's the smallest tank. No, you do. Just put a valve in it. Maybe it's one bigger. Oh, no. I always forget to block the roof. So there we go. We just made a multi tank. That holds 32 buckets of uh, any liquid in there, which is pretty good for a 3x3, three three, quite cheap. Took less than half a stack to make. And now if we just put uh, another valve here and we get Zycorium water. Zycorium water. This just acts like a water block, but better. To craft it, you it's simple, you just need some blue engineering brick. In, you can't use any colour, it has to be blue. Some stone and water. And just right click on there and you can see... Oh, we've got to reinitiate the valve. You can see it's starting to fill up with water. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put valve here, build another 
three by three. Right, now I don't know exactly how this works, but I think this is how you do it. You gotta initiate a tank this side. As you can see, I've dual wielded two um, three by threes, so we've got this one and this one and it's sharing the water equally and you can see one Zykorian water is sharing both of these tanks equally so you can have like connected tanks all over and the biggest tank is a 12 by 12 and we'll use hmm hmm we we'll use a storage block, which is just any Zycorium or Zycoridite. And we'll use green, I think. So, let's just build a slightly larger multi tank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do six by one, two, three, four, five. Six by five, I think. Nice and uneven. ACD people, especially. I mean, I will have three up, I think. Oops, and one more. this multi tank so I have no idea if it works this size it's quite a nice little bunker doesn't it and you can just have that and evolve and it does work that holds 512 buckets not as uh, efficient as uh, railcraft tanks, which is smaller but holds more. But these are cooler. Look at that GUI. Look at the colour. And obviously, you can just put uh, Zycorium water on there, and you'll start to fill up. And I love the rendering. This tank should be long but filled. Yep, 64 and 32. But you can see they both share. Uh, uh, an amount of water which I think is a really nice touch I do I think it's a really 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 nice touch um, there is so much more in Zycorium like if you get Hennequin Hennequin and corn kernel, which you can turn into popcorn. Uh, Zycorium ice works the same as ice, so if we put that in there, it'll turn things into ice because it's cold. Cold Zycorium ice. So that is pretty much it for uh, this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.